So today we have a Funko Shop Funko Pop Mystery Box Chase Roulette Chase Game. So what's in this? I think, okay, I know for sure there are 10 of the 1989 The Joker uh, Funko Pops with the possibility of a Chase one every six. But there's also, I think it's two of the Funko Pop Shop exclusive, the uh, Kraken. I think that's what's in this because the past couple weeks, Funko Shop has dropped some exclusives and I bought like back-to-back -back weeks um, and while I did I went ahead and bought the max of 10 of the Jokers each time just to do the the chase game the roulette game as people call it so let's go ahead let's see which Funko Shop exclusive this is and then we'll see how many chases I get in this huge Official Funko Shop Funko Pop Mystery Box of Chase Game Possibilities of the Joker. 89 version. <laughs> Jack Nicholson. Okay. So the uh, Kraken, I think this, sh this should be the Kraken in here. Then the other one, like like the next week that dropped, I don't remember which one it was. It came very well packed. Yep, yeah, so, yeah, okay, here we go. Here are the first two. These are both of the Kraken. There's a limit of two per customer. Let me put this thing down for just a minute. There's a limit of two per customer. So I went ahead, I got two of them. They actually sold out very, very quickly. And um, these are already selling on eBay. I think for about like $80 on eBay on average. I think this is like $25 a piece with a limit of two per person. So I got two and then 10 other Funko Pops to play the chase game. There we go with the Kraken, the Pop Myth series. This new Pop Myth series has become extremely popular very quickly. This window has a little bit of a defect on it. Like it, they didn't glue it down properly like right here. But anyway, yeah, first one. Now let's do the second one. Then we'll do the chase game, the chase roulette. And then here's the second Kraken. I think it's what it's called, the Kraken. Fungo Shop exclusive Kraken. I know these eventually will be for sale on my eBay store. Drag me down below to my eBay if you wanna buy anything. I probably won't list these things yet because these pop myths seem to go up in value very, very quickly. So I actually wanna hold these for just a little bit just to see what values do on these, uh, on this Kraken pop before I sell it, just to make sure it doesn't shoot up like the, was it the Medusa pop or something like that? which one it was, shot up very, very fast, very quickly. And most people, that actually sat on the shop for like a week. Oh, okay, so these are not in sorters. They are loose in here. They're loose, so hopefully they're not damaged. So uh, I'll pull these out one at a time. Like I said, they're not in sorters, so I can't pull them. I, I, like with Hot Topic box lunch, I like to pull them all out because they come in sorters like, like this, but these are not. So some of these might have damage on them. So here we go with the first one, the total of 10 in here of the Joker with the chase game. First one, let's see what it is. Is it a chase? The odds of chase is one in every six and it is not. But the first one, I'm gonna check condition on these pop, make sure they're not too jacked up. But now this is really good shape actually. But yeah, this, this is my Joker. When I was a kid, this came out when I was nine years old. This is the Joker that, you know, touched my heart as a child, kind of. But, okay, the better Joker, though, Heath Ledger, though, was the better Joker. The best Joker ever was Heath Ledger, but the best Joker, okay, this makes any sense. The best Joker was Heath Ledger. My favorite Joker, Jack Nicholson. Makes any sense. Yeah, so anyway, next one. Let's see if I get a chase. Number two. Oh, I saw the sticker actually and I pulled it out. We have a chase. First chase. Sweet. So this one is just him. Let me see the differences. Oh, his hat. He has a different hat on. And his face paint is coming off of his face. Let me put this thing down so we can kind of see the differences side by side. There we go, the differences. It's like with this pop. If the chase is damaged, this one you actually cannot do a chase sticker swap on it 
because the actual boxes are different. Because I know, you know, lots of times the chases, uh, you know, if the box is all jacked up, you can just sticker swap because it's the exact same thing. But these, you cannot. So don't do it because <laughs> they're different boxes. But yeah, so first, first chase. Number one, not too bad. So buying 10, because you, you can only buy 10 at a time of each pop. So I should get at least one. Hopefully I get at least two out of this. Here we go. Number two, the Joker. It is the common. Not too bad, not too bad. Keep on cruising. If I can dig down in there. Here we go. Next one. It's the common. Actually, I can actually tell from the back of it because even the back of the boxes are different between the chase and the common. So even the back of them are different. So you can tell straight off the bat. Doesn't matter if we get to the back or the front, if you have a chase or not. You know, you can tell. Here we go with number five. Carefully place things out so don't damage anything because these are not protected by anything. We have a common again. I see his hat on the back of it. Because on the chase, he has kind of like a French um, beret, kind of. It's kind of like a beret, kind of. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Yeah. So there's, there we go. Halfway through with one chase so far out of the first five. I know these come in cases of six, so it's possible that they just gave me you know, like a full case. And then it's possible that the other case is six. They grabbed me four, and hopefully one of the four was the chase. If that's how they did it, I don't know. You know, you just never know. Next up, well, we got a common. Saw the back of it, saw the front of it, doesn't matter. You can tell if it is the common or the chase pretty quickly. Okay, there's number six. Okay, this thing is like full of bubble wrap too. Ah, another, we got a common. Number seven. Common. Okay. Oh, well, I had to look because I can't feel them, but yeah, they're like the other side of the box. I saw two of them. They were both commons. So there's number eight. And I already saw this one when I looked at it by accident. This one is also common. This one's got a big manufacturer flaw on the back of that box. It's kind of like a backwards crease on the back of that box a little different so here we go with the first nine so the first nine i got out only a one chase variation so here we go last one hopefully i get two chases out because these things these were eleven dollars a piece was the retail value for these joker pops i'm sure the commons i'll probably get like eight bucks out of them so the chases i think are selling for like 60 or so on eBay right now. So if I get out two chases, I'll get pretty much all my money back and all the commons or the profit. If I do not get out two chases, then obviously I won't make as much profit. And here's the last one buried in the very, very back. Come on, let's be a chase. Here we go. I'm actually, I'm getting my eyes shut. I don't want to look. I, I don't want to see the back of it because you see the back of it, you can automatically take and tell if it's a chase or not. Okay, I think that's, I think that's the, the top. Here we go, last one. Come on, be a chase. You already know. Is 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 it a chase? Is it a chase? Is it a chase? Nice chase, sweet, very nice. So, beat the odds. Actually, I bought ten of them. I got out two chases. The odds for a chase are actually one in every six. So buying ten of these, you were not guaranteed to get. You know two out of them you're you know buying 10 you should get at least one chase buying two of them you should no guarantee though so very happy with this so let me go ahead let me just let me just verify on ebay what these actually are going for because i'm actually kind of curious right now looking on ebay just today i'm seeing uh the chase variation selling for 65 uh 61 this is without shipping this is just the sold price 
because on the Funko app, they actually don't have a price list for this yet because it's too new. 61, I'm seeing 60, 71, 71, 54, 65, 55, 62. So you can pretty much say this chase right now is worth probably about $60 or so in that range. And then the common ones that are selling right now, nine bucks, nine bucks, nine bucks, 10 bucks, nine bucks, 10 bucks. So you can even say like the common ones I won't sell on my eBay store. I'll sell all the common ones locally. And I'll probably try to get 10 bucks a piece out of them locally without having to pay all the eBay fees. So with these, I bought all these, all 10 for $11, which would end up being, uh, what, $110, right? Yeah. And these two alone should sell for $120, $130, $140, $150, $160, $180, $190, $200. So with these, I spent $110. I should get back around $200. The two Krakens, I bought those for $50. And I should get back on those about 160. So I should make about $110 on those, 90 on these. So combined, I'll actually turn a profit of about $200. So in total, I spent 50 and 110. So I spent $160. And after getting my money back, I'm still making $200 of profit. So this is actually this is actually a pretty nice flip, very nice flip. And these chases um, are extremely popular. Honestly, I probably won't sell these very quickly on eBay. I'll probably sit just to see what the prices do on these because Joker is very popular and uh, these are selling out everywhere. I have a, another case of this, of 10 of these and another two Funko Shop exclusive that I bought. I don't remember which ones they were, but uh, we'll see those next time. Thanks for watching. Funko Bad Guy, out.